In this video, I will show you how to set up GitHub continuous integration and continuous deployment for Next.js with Docker on Google Cloud Platform. This is part two of the series, so please watch part one first to learn how to set up the Next.js project and deploy to Google Cloud, Cloud Platform as some things here I'll assume you already have done. So the first step you will need to do is go to GitHub and create a new repository. I already have this page open. So for the repository name, just name it whatever you like. And uh, public private is up to you and then just click create repository. All right, now we're gonna be following uh, these steps down here. One, one by one, so just copy it and then go to your terminal in the root of your project and run these commands. And now it should upload our code to this repository. So just click refresh. And you see that, all right, our code is here. Now, uh, now we need to go to your code editor and add one file. So the file we'll be adding is called cloudbuild.yaml. So it'll be a YAML file. So this file will basically tell Google what steps to do to build and deploy our code. So first thing is the steps here. So the first step will be building the container image. And here, uh, this argument will need to find the, the image name. So to do that, uh, go to your uh, console, Google Cloud Console, and search up artifact registry. And we see that, uh, so this is the folder, uh, this is the folder we made previously. So just click that. And this is their image name. And here you can just copy it copy everything. So just copy it, paste it here, and then we need to add the colon and tag as well. So don't forget colon and uh, the tag. So for us the tag one as you see here. And finally a comma and then a uh, single quotes and then a dot. So don't forget this uh, is important. This is important. So now uh, the next step will be pushing the image to the artifact registry. Push. The name will be the same as before. And the arguments will be push and then the same thing, so just the image name with the colon and tag. Uh, you can just uh, just copy this this one. Don't forget the colon and tag, and paste it here. And that should be it for this step. And finally, the last step will be deploying uh, this image that we just built to Google Cloud Run. Name will be uh, this one will be different. And okay, this argument was uh, we need the our service name so. Do that uh, we search up cloud run and we see here that this is a service name we, we made previously so just copy and paste this paste it here and then fi finally we need the image argument so it's, it's just the same as this so you can just copy this with the, te the tag and paste it and we also need the region argument. 
So for me, it was yes plus two. For you, is uh, whatever whatever you set it to be. And the last thing is. Uh, This part, so just the images, and then dash, and then uh, the image name again, with the tag. Okay, so that should be it for this cloud build file. And now what we're gonna do is go back to the console, and we have the services, uh, the cloud run uh, page open. So just click the service here. And we need to click this button, set up continuous deployment. So uh, for you, uh, I already, already logged in with GitHub, so that's why it's showing up here. But you will need to uh, authenticate with GitHub, so there'll probably be a button here. And it's just logging in to GitHub. So after you do that, just select uh, your the repository you just made. And then click the check mark, and then go click Next. And then for the build type, select Docker file here and click save. So now it's uh, being set up. So now uh, it is attempting to deploy our code here, but it, we don't have, we didn't upload the cloud build file yet, so it should fail. So now uh, what we need to do is actually click edit, okay, edit button here and scroll down and you need to make sure that this is cloud build configuration file is checked here. So it should be checked, but uh, just make sure it's checked, right? And then, all right. And then now to test if everything is actually working, we're just gonna push to GitHub. So, get add, test, push. So we pushed, right? Go to GitHub, we see that we have our new file here. And now we refresh this page, we should, it should be attempting to deploy. And we can actually go and see the logs here. So it's running our steps. So this will take a few minutes. All right, now it's finally done. So everything goes well, it should be uh, successful. Now uh, we can go here and copy the URL. Okay, and uh, so now, now uh, we got the continuous deployment part working, but uh, I forgot to actually change some code. So, so this is the code we had previously. Previously, so just, let's just change this text again. So we go here, go to the index uh, page. Hello, and then I'll just change this to. All right, so now uh, I'm just going to push this new code to GitHub and it should just build and deploy uh, by itself without me doing anything else. And when I refresh uh, that page, uh, when I refresh this page, it should show the new text. So let's get that. Okay. Get. And then push.
So let's just refresh this. We see that it is building again. You can look at the logs. So again, we have to. Uh, it does take you know a few minutes every time. But that's mostly because the Docker file is not really optimized. So you can you can probably speed this up quite a bit if you optimize the Docker file. All right, now it's done, and so uh, go here, refresh the page, and it should be our new text. So just click refresh, and you see that there you go, we have it working.